Okay, so this is our GoPro flight in our stock standard Cessna 152. So what we're going to do is masters are off, ignition off, normal closed. Mixer's going rich. Masters on. Throttle set. Brakes on. Nobody's around. And we're going to set the RPM for 1200. There you go, RPM set. And our T's and P's are slowly rising in the green. There you go. Seven four set. Beauty. There you are. T's and P's are slowly rising. And we can go through the full pre flight takeoff, but we're just going to do an expedited one. So our flaps are going to set to 10 degrees for max performance takeoff. Fuel is on, contents is sufficient. You can see the bolt tanks are full. Mixture's rich. Flag is indicating no wind. What we're going to do is we got our reference point at the end of the runway there, just those in between those trees, and a nice fluffy reference point there for a high reference point. Smoothly go through to full power, keep it straight with rudder on those reference points at the end. So brakes are off, up to full power. She goes. Just a slight bit of right rudder, keeping straight on that center line. Bring it on just a tiny bit of back pressure. There you go, the plane will want to fly when it does. Let it. There you go, and now pick that new high reference point, our fluffy cloud we talked about before, and hold that attitude down. Allowing the plane to climb away. Keep it straight on that reference point. Turn our feet's approaching, we have a positive rate of climb, clear of obstacles. We can raise our flap. Yeah, power is full, and now trim to relieve stick load. You can see the nose keeps wanting to drop on me every time I do anything. So we're going to trim backwards. Just a couple turns to help ease the workload there. See Nelson over there. We're going to pick a reference point just out there, the Avery Tasman across the way. Once we get to 500 feet, climb it away nicely at 75 knots. It's a good lookout from the right all the way around to the left, raising that wing up. No one's there, rolling into the turn. There's a reference point, rolling wings level there. Facing. Also, good time to take a good look downwind here. Nobody's there. Awesome. There we go. Going into our new reference point just out there. Appleby, or the eastern point of Rabbit's Island. Approaching a thousand foot point, we will do attitude power trim. So, 1,000 feet, there we go. Attitude to straight and level there. Power decreasing at the 2300 RPM. And sure, we're going to have to turn a few rolls forward. Keeping that 1,000 feet. Brakes, even pressure. Parking brake is off. Indicators down. Mixture is rich. Pitch is fixed. Flaps is required. Fuel is on. Content sufficient. Primer locked. Pumps and pressures, not applicable in one part. Just really sensitive in that trim these days. It is amazing. So we're done with. Time for a radio call. Nelson Tower, uh, November 280. 
requesting touch and go and they come back say negative but we'll say they say we cleared touch and go two zero number one clear touch and go two zero number one november two eighty there you go so we're approaching time to land Taxes and harnesses all secure. Excellent. Car heat's going on. You can see it's just popped on there. Decrease of our power back. Lowering the nose to the descent attitude and just a slight trim. Turning it on to a reference point here. Got a high rate of descent, well, let's slow it down just a wee bit there. So there's a reference point coming up just straight in front of us here. Level the wings on it, and we're going to lower 10 degrees of lap and re trim. Good. At this point, we're checking our spacing from the runway. We're still a little bit high. It's all right. We've got lots of room. Going the next 10 degrees flat and trimming forward. Anticipating that center line. Rolling in. Attitude controlling our height, power. Our attitude controlling our airspeed, power. Increasing the power because I'm getting just a wee bit low. I'm going to leave that last 10 degrees of flat. Um, decision to land is yes, car peaks going off. We've got our aim point, we're going for the threshold just there. So, zebra crossings. So, once again, Coming into the land, we've got our center line lined up, over the fence, smoothly decreasing that throttle. Small building height, into the straight level, throttle closed, keeping straight on the end of the runway, and just gently increasing that back pressure to touch down on the mains. There we are. Welcome back to Nelson. Injuries flat. that reference point once again. Now the aircraft can accelerate through. 55, rotate, set that attitude to that low reference point. Now because we're in a simulator we can do non-standard stop. Never level off at 50 feet. And then have a hoon through the golf course. And in a simulator, you can. Gonna raise that last 10 degrees flat. There you go, and trim slightly forward. Yeah. Once again, very non-standard. Would not do this off Nelson. Not because we're in a simulator. We're doing this. So I'm shooting the gap. Just like the Red Bull Air Race planes when put it on night banks through these trees. And just for giggles, we can simulate an engine failure. Oh no! Lower the nose, car peep on, throttle closed, in the descent. 30 degrees either side of the nose. There we go, onto the beach, straight and level, holding it there, allowing it to settle. And gently onto the brakes because we're on the sand. Gently, gently, gently. And if we're going to hit the water, possible ground loop. Once again, could not simulate this in real life.
but it's quite fun to practice a uh, simulation of an engine failure at 50 feet. Overhead the dog park in Nelson. Thanks a lot for flying with Simpit. Bye bye.